Hello, hello. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome. I hope you're all doing good on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Let's go. So hi for I'm hyped for you, Hawker. Yes, sir. Pezzo, hello. All day 28k. I need the meat. Hey, me too. Me too, brother. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome. Love to see some call to action for it, considering shelling out for it. So here. So here's the thing. So I'm assuming deeper blue, that means you're you I forget. Did you tell me if you're a newer Yogg player? Because we were all we were all on cauldron before. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, cauldron is cracked. Cauldron is very good. And so if you were here yesterday, you saw how yesterday went. Uh, I was not feeling too good after <laughs> after uh not doing too well. I was like I was legit rage queuing on stream, though I didn't I didn't really I didn't rage that much. I was just tilted. Cause I was like, lose two games, drop, do it again, lose two games, drop, do it again. Uh and I was getting upset. And so I ended stream early. Uh well I was I didn't end stream early. I mean I was going for five hours. So I ended stream and then after stream, I continued playing. I continued playing after stream. Cause I'm like, okay, come what's going on here? Something's not right. I don't like how this feels. So I played more ritual. And I still didn't do good. I'm like, God, like, what is going on? I don't get it. So after reflecting, I'm like, okay, something is happening here. There's a pattern to this. I think ritual might be too all in. Now, what do I mean by that? I think ritual is very, very strong. If people can't interact with ritual, then we will we'll run away with the game, right? But we're putting all of our eggs in one basket, right? We're kind of just like throwing everything out there. And then if our opponent has a board wipe or anything, we're kind of just boned. So I like, okay, let me see. Let me look at the other build. So I tried, I, there was an Abzen build that I tried, which was fun, but uh, also had the same issue because it was a ritual build. And then I'm like, God damn it. Like, come on, come on. Like there's got, there's something, there's something I need to do here. So then I tried this list. I tried this list last night. I won two games. And then I'm like, okay, and it was too late. I need to go to bed. Currently running a two split of Chubby Nightmare and Cauldron. Nice, very nice. Um, and then I woke up this morning. Who's that? Who is that right there? How many trophies? Three? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are on the board. Almost on the front page. Almost on the front page of the leaderboard. And yes, I did get a trophy with Yogmoth this time, okay? Not Mardu. <laughs> Listen, I was just trying Bardu, okay? I was just trying it, see how it was. But yeah, I got, a tro I got a trophy with this list. Isn't this basically pre-MH3 Yogg? It is. It is. You know, And you know what? Maybe we need to... Maybe we're all distracted by the shiny stuff. Maybe we're all distracted by... Oh, new card here, new card here, new card here. But maybe... There was nothing wrong with the list to begin with. Maybe everything was fine. I told you the list is cracked, mother. I know. Listen, mate, I'm slowly becoming a malevolent believer. Common best card, true. Also, also, Woodland is stupid. This card is so dumb. It won me like three games. Just being able to copy something in my copy a cauldron, copying a Yogmoth, copying a Bowmaster when my opponent draws. Like what? <laughs> That was one of the best things for it. I was going to get to it, but waited. I was going to get it, but waited to see how MH3 went. Going back to that plan seems good. Yes. So what I like about Cauldron 2 is that what it, we're getting really boned by all this dust, right? That card is not fun, especially in Ritual where we we're forced to kind of like put everything out there. They cast all this dust and like, okay, and good game. Cauldron gets around that because it's colorless. Okay. Also, this list has four Grist again. We're bringing Grist back. Where she's back and she's stronger than ever. So this is a variation of Awesome Possum's list. The only changes I made were I took out I have two blooming marks instead of the one that he has, and then I just re I removed Ignoble for the fourth Bowmaster because I think Bowmaster is really good right now. All is dust, more like all is grist. True, true, actually. And if you if you've been on my stream for a while, if you watch me. And you've, you've had people ask me about Walking Ballista. You know that I am a known Walking Ballista hater. I hate Walking Ballista and Yogmoth. Now let me put an asterisk. Let me let me asterisk right there. Okay, 
I hated walking ballista before Malevolent Rumble. And the reason for that was we were have we were if we wanted to set up the combo reliably, we're forced to use a court of calling to go and get walking ballista. And I think that was just in, in something incorrect to do because Cord of Calling is our premium way of searching for anything in the deck. Cord, if you're using your Cord to find a Walking Ballista, you're A, already going to win that game anyways, or B, you have nothing going on. So you're like, you're forced to go to the walk the, the Walking Ballista combo in Yawgmoth before this current build was like a plan D. So plan A, combo, plan B, Grist, plan C, beatdown, plan D, Walking Ballista, Cauldron. I say it's plan D because it takes so long to set up. You can't just do it all in one turn. You have to have a Cauldron. You have to have a Wall of Roots under the Cauldron. You have to have an Undying Creature. You have to have the Walking Ballista under the Cauldron. So I didn't like it before because I'm now I'm like having to think if the line is possible at all, I have to kind of like go for it. I have to like throw it out everything. But okay, I'm going to go for the combo here. I hope my opponent doesn't have interaction. I'm going to cord for zero. I'm going to put my thing under the Cauldron. Oh, Cauldron blew up. So now I wasted my cord. I threw away my walking ballista and my cauldron's gone. So that's why I didn't like walking ballista in the deck before. However, now we have an now we have a card that enables walking ballista to, to go to the graveyard without having to use core of call. And you know what? It does feel pretty good. I'm not going to lie, it does feel pretty good. I was a doubter before of Rumble. I played it a little bit last week and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's not as bad. And now that I play it more, Maybe it's the way to go. Maybe it's the way to go. Now I have to buy B-Hook. Hey, you and me both, Panda. You and me both. <laughs> I mean, I did, if you checked my Twitter, if you see, if you check my my tweet, my, my most recent tweet, uh, B-Hook does look pretty good <laughs> against Boros Energy. So many lines, though. Only Blista, Yogg, Und Undying Under Table can be a combo kill of higher death health also. Yeah, but before... I, I get that, but like before, I didn't want to like... First of all, waste a slot for Walking Ballista, and then also having to like consider using Cord for Walking Ballista. I just didn't. I I played with the card. I did. I did not. I did not not play with the card. I did play with Walking Ballista. I played fifty games with Walking Ballista before uh, Modern Horizons three, and I only ever got to got. I only ever got to combo twice with the Walking Ballista combo. Now, I'm going to say one of those combos. I would not have won the game if I didn't have Walking Ballista, and it did help me qualify for the RC. Oh, but li okay, but listen, <laughs> I still didn't like it. It was a very insane line where my I was against Eldrazi Tron, my opponent all is dusted, uh, and then I had two young wolves and a cauldron and two lands in play, uh, and then I was able to put Ballista under the cauldron a turn before, and they had a Karn in play and they had an active ring, uh, like a plus ring for with Karn. I attack. I remove one of the counters. For, they block with the indestructible one ring. I remove the counter from my young wolf to ping the Karn. My 2-2 two -two wolf kills it. My other wolf comes back. And then so, now Karn is off the battlefield. I have a wall of roots in the graveyard. I eat it with the cauldron and I win. Now, that was really good. However, out of the, all the other games I played, I never it never really came up. Besides one other time. Also, I'm very happy to be using wall of roots again. I think, I think we all... I think all of us... Let's look. Look at that. Zero five. Zero, how are you killing that? You can't kill that thing. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think this is what I'm gonna vibe with for right now. Feels really good. Also, one. What I wanted to make another. Oh yes. So, I want two veils right now. Was missing them so much for a single troll meta. At least my. Yeah, it's not a great card. If you look at a different modes separately, but I wonder if it's worth to give one side one slot card a very, very different. Effect. I guess that's true. I think it's worth uh, worth a consideration for sure. Like most of the charms, yeah. I guess I would play it over Abrupt Decay, but I kind of like Abrupt Decay versus the Blue-Black Frog matchup. Also, another announcement to make. If you, do, if you look below, in the description, below the chat, I have opened a Patreon. Now, the Patreon is going to be completely free. Everything, all the content that I release on Patreon is always going to be free. I'm never going to paywall anything. Uh, I want to make content that's free for everyone to view and enjoy and give feedback on. So I just I opened one because I've had people ask me to open one. 
even though I told them like I I'm just I'm gonna make it free, and they said I don't care. I want to support you, and I, I appreciate them for that. So that is in the description if you are interested. Of course, not required, not necessary. I appreciate you guys being here already. That's that's all the that's all the happy about I need. Okay, um, but yeah, I did that. That was fun. Uh, I will probably make a sideboard guide next for this list, and then publish it. I think that'll be fun. Hope you do better than yesterday. The list seems very good. I hope, hey, me too. I hope I do better. I hope I do better as well. <laughs> but yeah, meet only fan. Hey, yo. I <laughs> only what? Only what? <laughs> and then besides that, one more. There's one more announcement I want to make. I need everyone to be on the lookout. This was shown off today. So as you, as some of you know, or if you if you don't know, uh, the Wizards just released Mystery Booster Two, which has a bunch of cards in it, and they just showed this off. Wizards just showed this off. They're re reprinting a lot of stuff in the Future Sight Border, which is my favorite of all time, my favorite set of all time. Even though I never played it, I wasn't alive. But, no, I was alive. But I, I, <laughs> I just I love it. I love Future Sight so much. And so they showed off this. Now I I swear to God they they better do one for Yagmoth. I need you to all be on the lookout. If you see one, if it gets spoiled or if someone pulls it and they post it online and it's Yagmoth, I need you all to spam at me, send me uh, spam me on Twitter, spam me on Discord. I need to see it. Okay. It hasn't been shown. No one has pulled it. If there is a Yagmoth yet, it has not been shown off. But that's because I, the mystery boosters were only at one event recently, and I think it was a pretty exclusive event. So there's not not that many were opened. So I'm hoping. I'm I'm hoping the white border dryad is a bomb. I know. I love it. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I love the white border dryad. Alrighty. But yeah, that's what we got going on. So you know what? You know what I'm here for. I know what you're here for. So you know what? Let's just get into it. Okay. All right. Get everyone here. One dollar first. Boom. Yes. Always. What do we got? I'm gonna mulligan this. Much better. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put back the extra halfling. Maybe they tried order, got back discharged, but got blast instead. Oh, maybe. <laughs> So the bot says that they play Sam combo, which does look to be true. Switching up the music real quick, one second. What's up, Legend Boy? Hello, hello, Lumberjacks. How you doing? You're the legend. You're the legend. Okay, hey, that's a soul called route. And then we go Woodland, and then we play here, here. We play Cauldron, and we get capital G wrist under the Cauldron. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Come on. And we have the combo, and now we have the combo. Oof. Hey, hey. <laughs> That card's pretty good. <laughs> I see your possum list, right? Yes, sir. Are we dead? No, they need a sack outlet, right? So, if they need a sack outlet, so I think I can just. So we're going to plus here. I'm actually going to play Ballista for two and take out the Sam.
Gris Blitz and Wolf. Yeah, I mean, we do. We had a combo there, but I don't think there was any. We couldn't win the game on that turn. I don't think. Okay. Oh! Aria with a 10. Oh my. Aria. Oh my goodness. This is, good. this is my third long gift for match. Oh! I appreciate you so much. 10 months. God damn. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I think my line was safe for it. Yeah. I mean, they managed to have another Sam Wise, but not much I can do about that. So they have an apprentice. So they still don't have a sack outlet, so they should be dead, right? And they don't the they, if they're playing cord, they don't have cord of calling turned on because they don't have triple green. So now we can go exile Joaquin Balista. Put it here. And then we go youngest wolf. I love you, Aria. Hey. How was the RCQ this past weekend? You know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, I can go over it in a second. Hey, okay, nice. So, let me hold on, let me sideboard. Um, Meat Hook is funny, but I don't think it's actually good in this matchup, so I'm not going to bring it in. Uh, we'll bring in the Endurance's Fatal Push Abrupt Decay. Probably the Force, probably as well. I think they play... Do they play Saga? I forget if they play Saga or not. Maybe not the Force just yet. Okay. Um, one second. Bunny. What? Okay. Uh, so my RCQ did not go too well. Um, I won or round one. I was versus Jeskai Energy, and I got stuck on three lands both games. And then game two, I played versus the Soul Trader combo, and I won that one. And then game three, uh, I played against Nadu, uh, and it was very bad. <laughs> like, I got game one, they got game two, and then, or no, they got game one, I got game two, and then going into game three. Hold on, my cat's being rambunctious. Bye. Okay. And then uh, going to game three, I thought sees my opponent goes turn one, shoot go. I go turn one, haywire might. They go turn two, uh, they go turn two, Sylvan Safekeeper. And I goes to, and then they, that's it. And then it goes back to my turn. I thought sees them. They have Shuko, land, outriders, and core, and summoners packed. And they don't have, they don't have any white mana to play um, outriders. So I'm like, oh, this is great. And so I play, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So then I play, um, I take the Summoner's Pact, and then I pass the turn, and then they draw Nadu at the top. And then the game is over. Ooh, interesting. Am I wrong, or is this list too much weaker to post side hate, graveyard hate, particularly with this rich than ritual? Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. I mean, it, it is weaker to graveyard hate. But, um... Gris is still really good. I mean, that's that's the trade-off you have to take, right? Like, so the thing with Ritual is Ritual is good, but you're putting everything out there on the board. So it gets, it's very uh, weak into Wrath of the Skies and All is Dust, whereas this deck, it has a lot more recovery from things like that. So now I have a decision to make. I can either just Fatal Push the Samwise, or I can play 
cauldron. I think I'm just going to push the Samwise right now. Well, Nightmare's pretty good here. What's the consensus to alchemy? Ritual or Yog Cauldron is the way? It's just whatever you prefer. Both are good in their own respect. Though I kind of like I was a big I was a big ritual enjoyer. Ooh. I was a big ritual enjoyer, but now I don't know. I feel like I'm being converted to to rumble. So I could play Wall plus Cauldron. I think I'm going to play Wall plus Cauldron. Cauldron familiar? Get under the Cauldron. Thank you very much. Are you ready to rumble? Hello, chugga, 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 choo, choo. Hello? How you doing? Cat in the soup. Cooking up a soup. Masked Vandal? Bro. No shot, you just played Masked Vandal against me. You surveilled the creature into the yard and then you play Masked Vandal? Are you joking me? Aye, aye, aye. Rumble has version the turn two grist starts, which are insane. That's why I also hyper flare. Yeah. Now you can sack food to bring back wall, right? Yes. I've been vandal. <laughs> oh. So I think here is just play Yogg. So they do, we know that they do have a um, cauldron, or they do have a nightmare, but I'm going to try to draw a land here, so then I can play. I didn't want to sack my wall of roots. Because if I draw a land here, I can play Haywire Might. No, I'm just going to pass. Don't want to lose my young wolf. So I'm assuming they probably have a cord here. One chord of calling. Okay, I don't need I don't need a third Yogmoth. Thank you. Yogmoth, I love you. But come on, I need need you to not show up in my hand so often. Little rumble in the jungle here. Hmm. Could take Baseju. No, I think I'm just gonna get take halfling. Target here, sacrifice here. Target there, sacrifice here. What are they getting for two? I'm still going to respond. I'm still going to kill this in response. They could just get a replacement Sam, I guess, but if they do, I don't really care. Scavenging ooze. Well, that's pretty good, but we do have something to deal with that. Just going to play this tapped. They can currently eat only two things, just my halfling and their Samwise. Mm -hmm. So 
So their hand is Nightmare plus Mystery Card. Drawing a card, sure. Their hand is Nightmare, two Mystery Cards. I will not block. Oh, the queen at the right moment, at the right time. So we go Zupalort. And the queen. The queen. Looks like another court for them. It's also pot, or, you know, a concession, or a concession. <laughs> cool. All right. Give it our two here, one dialogue for our first burn. Boom, yes, always. What do we got? Not keeping this one. They have a Yagantha. I think I'm keeping this, putting back second chord of calling. Give me foil, young wolf, for less than one billion. You should have bought it when you had the chance. <laughs> I think Hapatra dropped in popularity when Yogg came out. Well, I'm just saying they should make a... I'm saying they should make a... Um, a Hapatra for Commander. Right? I'm actually going to keep that on top. Because I want to actually fetch base. I might want to use my blood, my uh, Besaju here for something they might have. Should have been born early for that young wolf stocks. True. Go ahead, opponent. I don't have anything. I don't have anything in my hand, opponent. It's your move. Go, go, gadget, bowmasters. Raptor, mm-hmm. Static prison, that's fine. Why is Foil Youngest Wolf so expensive again? Because it only has one printing. There's only the Dark Ascension printing, and then they was and then they made a um and then they printed a whatchamacallit. Uh they did a reprint of they did a reprint in Dark Ascension, or they did a reprint in Jumpstart, but there was no foil version for that one. Unrelated, the worst thing about cooking Indian food is getting the 90 different spices pre-measured and ready. True! Indian food goes hard, though. So we have an op So we have two things here. So we could just slam Grist and then start plussing, or, this is what I'm thinking, we pass the turn, because if they play Guide of Souls, it's actually really bad if we play Grist here. So I'm actually going to pass the turn to them, Hold up Baseju. If they play Guide of Souls, they'll probably attack, put the counters on Soul on Raptor, and then we can nay-nay them. That's my that's my theory. Well, that's just a theory. Oh! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Oh. No, 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 opponent. No, no, no. Nice. And buon note. Hey, it's a beef vindaloo, if you're curious. That's, I don't know what that is, but that sounds, that sounds very nice. See, if we were actually, if we were going to play Grist there, we actually lose. Because we play Grist, they kill our Grist with the Guide of Souls, and then we were very sad, right? But now, we do give them a land, but I think that's a better trade, making them waste all their energy, plus they lose Amp Amped Raptor. I'm going to hit a Mortuary here. 
Young wolf, huh? Uh, I'm gonna graveyard that. Hmm. Well, I was looking for a land, but, you know, not that one. I'm gonna play Grift here. I'm going to... I could down tick. But I think I'm actually gonna plus here, because I want to turn on my Court of Calling. Capital Zebrist, you've done your job. Board's still off, though? What do you mean it's still off? No, it's not. Next turn, yeah, yeah, next turn. Not that it matters, but I found out that the Ritual Yogg has a rough time in the mirror. That's interesting. I mean, that actually makes sense because this version has cauldrons. We can just take the stuff that they put in the graveyard. No main deck way to kill Yogg. Also that, yeah. So I could play the second Grist here. Second Grist, play, uptick. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually cannot play the second Grist here just yet because we want to have a Chord available for big Yogg. Love to see Gigantha to the hand. So their hand is Gigantha, two mystery cards. Do you like paper or online more? I like paper a lot more. Looks a lot like pre-MH3 Yogg. Yes, sir. The only things that we're using are the Woodlands and the um, Habita Hibita. Okay. Thank you, Hawker. <laughs> Looks like Pipe Ayo. Okay, so the last two cards in hand were Galvanic Lightning Bolt. This is fine. We're just going to sack our board here. Taking out the Ocelot as well. Because we know the last card in their hand is Yagantha, so this is fine. And <laughs> draw the cauldron, yes, sir. One second. My cat's going crazy mode. Okay. No pipe train. Thank you. Oh. Mm. So that's kind of awkward. I kind of want to hit their graveyard, even though they don't have a flage. If they do have a flage, they're going to be able to play it. But it's probably just worth it for me to go... I can go Rumble. I can go Rumble into Woodland. The, cold, the cooldown on Pipe has gone quite... How long is the cooldown? Uh, then we go Woodland. And then we tap here, tap here, play Wall of Roots. And then we tap here, tap here. We play Cauldron. And then we go here, we get capital G wrist. Put the counter on this guy. And now we are all Gucci, baby. We're all Gucci. You buying meat hooks yet? Uh, probably. Hey, okay, nice. I just don't know from where. I uh, they're actually very. They're not the easiest thing to find around where I am. A lot of commander players. 
I think there's two at my there's a, there's two at the shop that I go at Collector Legion, but ugh, so far. I can't believe the meat man doesn't already have meat hooks. Listen, I sold them. I sold them before they got banned, okay? They were like sixty, seventy dollars. I, I had to sell them. They, I got a guy's cradle for it, okay? It was fine. It's fine. I think that's a pretty good trade. I mean, it was it wasn't just a one for one. I obviously I traded it in to get credit towards the guy's cradle, but you know what I mean. They got one cord, take out two grist, one rumble, one halfling, one cauldron, one wall. We could use Gas Crail and Gog, good thinking. Ah, true. That's exactly. Listen, they're going to unban it in modern. It's going to be legal. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not banned. It's just not legal in modern. It would obviously, it would still be banned. Cards are broken. But it's on the reserve list, too, so they will never reprint it. It's only a matter of time before they do like the thing that they did with Legends, but they do it with Urza cards. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. We're going to keep it. Going to need some wasteland to go with that. Do you side in Mihook versus every creature deck? I can see how it's super good versus Boros. Uh, depends on the creature deck. I wouldn't say every creature deck. Like, I didn't side it in the last game versus... Um, versus the... I didn't side it in last game versus... What, what did we just play? Sam, because they have a lot of recursion. Um, but versus a deck like Boros, I think it's worth it always. Just play that flip cradle. Mm, I don't know about that one. You should try, you should use your cradle to proxy me. Oh, true. Not to be a doomer, but what if they don't ban Nadu? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that until the 26th. Ow. I'm just going to play second Young Wolf here. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good because now they can give flying to the mentor as well. Neat list. Thank you. It's a variation, a slight variation of Awesome Possum's list. Another a very good Yogmoth player. Chord. A little bit too late, I think, for Chord. I think we're probably just dead here. Our good Ballista Advocate, yes. True. Okay.
if you don't play Rift Wolves Rumble necessary, I think it's very good. I don't think it's necessary, but I think the card is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Because <laughs> I can't, if I fetch, I'm going to take three damage off the fetch, and then, yeah. Too fast. Run it back. Thought your Spotify was playing for a second. Hey. <laughs> this song is a banger. Hell yeah. It's nice. This is a certified hood classic. I'm right, gonna be on the play for this one. No lands, gonna throw it back. Ah, no lands to one land. Throw it back again. Keep this one. Don't even have fatal push up on one. Put back a Patra, but ha put back. Stay Jew. Well, it's not bad, but I'm not going to play it here because I need to hold up Fatal Push. So I could preemptively, I think I'm going to preemptively push. I don't want to give them an energy. I'm more scared of Guide of Souls than I am of Harsh Mentor. Okay, okay. Sure. I'm just going to flash it in Bowmaster now because they can't kill it. Uh, and they're going to have to kill it on their upkeep if they do. All right, come on, Court of Colin. One time. Damn. It's not a Court of Colin. I am still going to play it, though. They almost definitely have removal here for Bowman. Bowman. That was nice about the ritual build. No more drawing cutthroat. Yeah. What did they exile? Oh, they exiled the... I mean, sure. Zulaport. Discard land pride. Pretty good. But they're all out of mana for the turn. I will double block this.
Instant creature artifact. We almost have delirium for woodland. I'm just going to use it now. There's no point in me waiting or anything. With flying frog, flying guide is pretty bad. Yeah. Now, oh, guide of the soul. God damn it. Uh, well, our, our shifting woodland is turned off. Never mind. The second mentor. Okay. <sighs> okay. Is that is that it, opponent? Are you done? Is that enough? I've had I've kind of had enough. I would like one meat hook massacre, please, off the top. <laughs> That's fine. Um. So there's a there's a little issue with this. We do kill both of their harsh mentors, but do I want to get greedy and wait another turn? No, I'm gonna do it now because if they kill my wall, then I can't kill it. So I'm gonna do it now. Wall of Roots, I love you. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Why are you guys piping me? Hey, pipe down. Much word. Uh, no, thank you. So I believe Delirium's on instant creature land. No, wait, damn it. Very good. Very good. God damn it, man. Ow. Stop. My op will not drop Falagi. So they're going to have a big guide here. Which we can't do anything about, unfortunately. The second Soul Guide Lantern. Annoying. You're at the wrong time, Cauldron. This is not the right time. I'm still going to play the Cauldron because I'm going to eat stuff from their graveyard. I'm waiting to get my Prime back so I can sub to you. I can't with these ads. Uh, I apologize about that. But I don't run ads, so all the ads that you get are controlled by Wiz or by Twitch. I have ads disabled on my account, but they still they still run ads regardless. Core Ballista enables Delirium, but yeah, not unfortunately not useful when the lantern is out. Put Aether Hub in the graveyard, sure. Wizard strikes again, true. Might as well enable ads then and get that bread. No, because then you guys get more ads. I don't want to give you guys more ads. How does that work? They just do it anyways. I don't know. I, I don't know, Twitch. They, they just run ads on the back end, but I have ads off, so you guys get less ads. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. 
Uh, I'm going to try to exile my Wall of Roots here. It worked. Okay. Excellent draw. That's actually not bad because now it does. It's going to turn on our cord next turn. Young Wolf kills here, by the way. It does not. But you are very optimistic. They, if they didn't have a if they didn't have a Soul Guide Lantern, then yes, we could. But. Hmm. Just use add block, unblock means nothing get anybody off of them. Oh, I'm thinking of Ballista. Well, it still doesn't matter because they have Soul Guide. And like the young wolf is gonna hit the graveyard. Oh! Aria! With the one gift oh Aria. Oh, you're so kind. You're so kind, Aria. Thank you. Hey, nobody should suffer ads. Nice. Um, <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? 69 viewers, Pog. All right, we need this endurance to do a lot of work. Ain't no way my opponent has a removal spell. It's actually impossible. They actually couldn't do it. Endurance. Okay, Halfling. <laughs> okay, Halfling. I see you. Instant creature land. Still no delirium. Halfling, I believe. Halfling, I believe. Uh oh. Halfling, I don't believe <laughs> my opponent's draws have been really good. All right, second meat hook. I know meat hook. I know you gave me one time, but I know you. I know you got me for the two time. Two time second meat hook off the top. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna scream so loud. All right. Unlucky. All right. Get rid of three here. We did not win the dialogue. We did draw. It's okay. Karuga. How do you feel about energy deck matchups? I think this version actually does better against them. Um, but I think we just got a little bit unfortunate there. Could Necroplasm be good against Boros? No. Because... And the reason why I say that is because Necroplasm triggers that end step. Well, okay. So Necroplasm is... Recurrable, like you can, you can continuously get back Necroplasm if they remove it. Um, but I don't like how it it triggers at the end step. Which is your favorite halfling art? This one. I like this one. Necro was never good. <laughs> ah! Fire ice jump scare. Hmm. So because we do have Cauldron in hand, so I could put Yogg in the graveyard to take Young Wolf. I think I'm going to do that. So 
The slow glow. Hey, what's up? New watcher, new yog believer. Hey, hello, hello. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Welcome. Necroplasm was great against people that don't know how dredge works. True. Why are they main phasing a surveil land? Are you going to keep the schedule for the streams? I think you used to start later. No, I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm actually going to probably start later. Uh, and the reason for that is... Uh, currently in between jobs right now. The job that I was working at, the company went under. And so I unfortunately got laid off. So right now I'm searching for another job. Which is why I got so much free time to play Magic. Uh, but I'm trying to take advantage of the time that I have right now. But once I, land, once I get another job, I have... Two or three interviews this week. Once I hit another one, then I'll probably have to go back to... Uh, I'll have to go to, like, a later streaming schedule, unfortunately. Now I'm going to play Young Wolf here. Oh, I worked for Intel. No. Z oh, Zoru with a prime sub. I Zoru, thank you very much. Helps out a lot. Thank you, thank you. Dab, Rob, I went through that earlier this year. Yeah. Sag. Looking forward to the second daily stream starting at 5 a.m. Well, Matt, I could do that. <laughs> I could actually do that. I would just need... You guys would need to put up with my uh, morning self, which is fine. I'm just... not. I, I can't be as energetic in the morning because I need to wake up with my coffee. What industry are you in? I am uh, in marketing communications. Hopefully everything is fine. It's all good. I'm just trying to get a stick another one right now. Unlucky as a Euro. I hope you get one of those jobs. Thank you, thank you. Morning Zing is still too energetic. True. That's it. Not you are not wrong. A fire fire. Cauldron or Ritual after the RCQ bans Nadu. Uh, I'm going to see how it plays out. I'm going to see how the uh, meta shakes out. And then I'll go. I'll take it from there. I would be fine with that. 5 a.m. where you are is 1 p.m. in Italy. Also, something else might get banned, not just... <laughs> okay, opponent has one card in hand. Opponent, what, what is the one card, opponent? What are we doing here? Okay, they put Karuga in hand. Also, something else might get banned, I'm just not in my head, you woke up each morning, bolted up, and went, oh! <laughs> hey, maybe. You're not wrong. It's always the run one ring. You're not incorrect. So I'm going to play Cauldron here. I think I'm actually just going to get back. Hold on. I could just get back Haywire Might. Or I could get Yogmoth. I'm going to just get back Haywire Might for now. Because it seems like they really don't like this Grist. This is game one. <laughs> this is game one. I'm going to lose my mind. Holy shit. This happens a lot. This is the second time this week this has happened. Second time that a Kruger player has done this to me. Bro. They are on one. Holy shit. I'm just going to hold up Bowmasters here and play Cauldron next turn. Ow. Opponent just recorded for Nadu. True. Pretty boarded, yep. Sure, bro, you got it. The, th the third fire ice. Anything else? 
Do you have? A, do you want a, the third light light binding too? <laughs> Me going to make a bot in a monkey mode over a force of vigor. True. It's gonna make me go crazy. Looks like rhinos. Is it Karuga rhinos? Is that what it is? Four color with a new blur. Oh yes, yes, that's what it is. That's that's that sounds familiar. Okay, your turn to put it. This format's looking weirder every day. True. Okay, they shock, so they have a. They have a solitude, solid dude. The solitude meet Zulaport cutthroat. Sure, what are you exiling? Uh, okay, so target here, sacrifice here. Oh, easy, easy top deck. Hey, tap for mana first. Did I not do that? I didn't do that. You're right. I should have done that. So we're playing against uh, the... I think this is the Omnath deck with the, the Helga card. It's like the Beanstalk card. So I'm going to bring in the Force. I think I can bring in like all this. I think this is enough. Omnusi. Hey, yo. The what? My girlfriend keeps calling you the meatloaf. Haha, <laughs> where does this nickname come from? Hawker DW, you gotta catch some sleep. Get the way. Hey, thank you for coming by, Hawker. Appreciate you. Where does the nickname come from? The nickname, uh, so Slow Galow. Um, the origin of my name is my grandfather was a butcher, and that's kind of just how it stuck. Uh, the meat, like, I use meat in a lot of my usernames over the years in various, like, sites and games and stuff. Uh, also, silly, dumb high school inside jokes <laughs> about uh, meat. But mostly just those things. My grandfather being a butcher, then silly, uh, goofy, ah, high school memes. Probably don't want to... I don't know. Ballista seems a little bit fragile in this matchup. I think I'm going to cut one Ballista, one Cauldron, one Wall, one Young Wolf. And then I think Bowmaster is pretty strong. I think I'm just going to cut one Rumble. I seem... Bradley, you seem fragile as a person. Oh! I'm sorry, don't, don't boo me. I see, so now it's you giving them... Yes, sir. We give them the... The what? <laughs> Alright, no lands. Gotta throw it back. Much better. We're gonna keep this. I'm going to keep the Fatal Push just in case they have the Hobbit And I'm gonna keep everything else. Still working on the timing for that. Bradley's never fragile. Why is Ballista main deck? There's infinite combos you can do with Ballista and Cauldron, Tony. Huh. <laughs> Little thought sees action. Ooh. So we can take the one ring here. They play Flooded Brand. Uh, 
That hand looks terrible now. Don't worry, they're going to draw another one. They don't play Teferi. Why would they not play Teferi here? I mean, I'm going to play Orcish Bowmaster still. So they either drew a Fire Ice, is what I'm thinking, or they have they just want to use the Binding. They just wanted to use the Binding? I guess they didn't play Teferi because they're playing around Bowmasters. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So I can either just play wall. I think I'm going to play just wall. I don't think I'm going to use rumble just yet. Yes, I did know about if I combo single old dog, but still a sideboard card. No, you, they, people were never playing ballista in the sideboard. They were all they were always playing it in the in the main board. So this is going to make them choose between either bouncing the wall or bouncing the orc army token. And I I much rather have the wall in play than an orc army token. Yep, makes sense. So I'm going to... I'm going to rumble here first, see what we get. Halfling, Halfling, Twilight, Mire. I'm actually going to take the land. I'm going to play... Capital G wrist. And then we're going to I don't you don't really want to let the Karuga decks untap with a Teferi. You kind of have to respect the card, so we're just gonna take out the Teferi here. So if we're allowed to untap here, we're in a pretty good spot. If we're not allowed to untap here... Oh! The fairy jump scare. Fatal push should totally say creature of planeswalker. Totally wouldn't... Yeah, it totally wouldn't be the best removal spell ever printed, ever. <laughs> okay, so they also have a fire ice. That's what this means. Oh, they have a binding. Times like these makes me think of those wise words from Vinny Fino. What wise words? Uh, me, me, me. <laughs> oh, wait, this is actually fine, right? Because I can play Wall of Roots here, and then we're going to actually Chord for one. Chord for one. We're going to get Haywire Might, and then on their upkeep, we can uh, use the Wall of Roots mana to kill the the Binding with the Orc Army token. Unholy Meat. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good draw. Okay, pretty good draw for us, too. Yep. 
You're shocking at six mana. Oh, had Bri I, Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. The one ring. That's a pretty good draw. Although I do miss first Paradise Ignoble Days with Magnus Moon on the side. True. Oh, Fusion ZXX. I thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Oh, I know. Misplaced what? Wait, with a hundred people. Oh my good. Ginger. Hey. Thank you for the raid, Ginger. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Fire Thunder. Hey. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Hello. Misplaced followers from Ginger's chat. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you're having a good time. I'm not having a good time with this opponent. I'm I'm about to, you know. <laughs> okay, Halfling. Pog. So maybe they don't actually have Helga. Maybe this is a Helga list. Hello. Thing. Hello. If they don't actually have Helga, then I'm taking out the fatal pushes. Maybe it's just Karuga. It's just Karuga control. Is that what this is? Yield until next end step. Cosmic rebirth. Okay. So I'm going to surrender, but I'm going to play it out to see more of their deck. Okay, well. Dead and gone. That's how I feel right now. Helga, like from Hey Arnold. <laughs> Universe of Beyond has gone too far. True. Um, I could just like main phase. Speech Lord, hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I think I just need to main phase a Bowmasters and then pray. Bowman. Bowman, get him. Oh. Now, 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 now. Okay, I've had enough. I've had enough. That's enough. Okay. So it looks like they're not playing Helga. I mean, we saw like half their deck, so I'm going to take out the pushes. I'm going to put in... I'm going to put back in Endurance. And put back in a Young Wolf. We are playing the Yogged Moth, as you can see. Not a very good deck at the moment, but a deck that I love nonetheless. Yogg or bust. And we love you, and I love you, Bradley. Hey. <laughs> uh... Right, we're going to be on the play for this one. Well, besides the Dried Arbor, this hand looks pretty good. We're going to keep it. Forties Tapling. He changed the album. One second. My opponent has a dead. Oh, they do not. Pog. Wow, solitude. Holy moly. What did they pitch? They pitched a Teferi, sure. Young Wolf, go.
halfling go. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I wanted, actually. I think I actually should have played Dried Arbor there. Like it's, I know it's risky to play Dried Arbor, but I think we gotta kind of we gotta be a little risky. So they're not, they they shocked, but I'm going to throw out Endurance. Not gonna target anyone because I don't want to give them back a Solitude. I knew that was on top. I knew that was on top. I kind of don't want to play it right now, though. Is that crazy? I feel like they're going to... They have a binding here. And they're going to bind in Yawgmoth. And then they're going to play Ring. So I'm actually not going to play Yawgmoth here. I'm actually going to hold. I'm going to hold up Bowmasters. And then play Yog the following turn. They could also have a Supreme Verdict here. They do have a ring, which I will respond with Orcish Bowman. So now I will play Yawgmoth. I'm going to draw a few cards here. Or try to at least. Well, that's not bad. Can that win? I mean, I, I can core if I play Dried Arbor. Is this enough damage? So I play Dried Arbor, I cord for Zulaport, and then it it's gonna be one it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's gonna be exactly. Don't see a force of negation the entire game, and of course they have it. Okay. It would have been exactly lethal, actually, because it would have been 11 damage. But I feel like they have a Supreme Verdict here. white blue yep at least we get to draw a bunch of cards but man sol solitude add force of negation Not drawing the best here, actually. Whole lot of lands. You have a dead as well? Of course you do. Holy shit. Hey, can I play the game now, opponent? Am I allowed to play the game? I would like to play the game. 
You've already played. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hey, Wire Mike, thank you. Thank you. So now we can go... I mean, the, I think the play here is just play... Can I play Wall of Roots? Wall... No, I can't. Because I could play Wall of Roots and Haywire Mine and Gris, but I would let them untap with the ring and they would draw more. So I actually can't let them do that. Cavern of Souls? Binding Sherp. Okay. You got it. Go, go, gadget, grist number two. No, don't build a court of calling. Come on. Gonna play the catacombs here. So we get a little surveil land action. That's fine. We have a Beseju. Young Wolf. Okay, so they have a verdict. Is that what that means? They have to ferry. Sure. Ah, makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we need we need some help here. We do need some help from the top of the deck. Come on, Mortuary, I need you to put in some work. That's not it. That I halfling. Okay. Don't want to see you right now though. Thank you. Thank you. So Just gonna main phase the bowmasters right now. Mortuary, listen, true. I just want to push damage here, I think. So I'm just gonna do this. Get in for the two damage. Brother, what other phase could you guess? A true. Well, I was thinking I could swing one insect at the uh, Teferi and then one at them, but I think it's better to just go at them. So I will use the Besaju now on the binding. Graveyard. 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 No. They kept on top. That means they drew one ring. Oh? Okay, they drew a solid dude? Is that what that means? Oh, well, hello. Well, do I have delirium? Land, a creature, artifact, instant. Yes, sir. Hey. Shifting woodlands is going to look pretty nice right now. So, I could just main phase the woodland. Yes, sir. Forest hero. Hello, hello.
They have a solitude as well. Of course, of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> Okay. Opponent, please. They're going after the token, not the Yagma. Right, what's your last card ahead? Thank you. Okay. Force of negation be gone. You drew one card opponent. What is it? No shot, you drew Omnath. No shot, you draw fetch land. Hey, okay. Jesus. All right. Got that one. Nice. All right. Game number four here, one dialogue first. First, boom, yes, always. What do we got? Uncupal hand, throw it back. Much better. Thank you. He put back the duplication station. Affling, go ahead. EP cat, true. I see you really enjoyed that future site, Urza. I did. I hope that there's a I hope there's a Yogmoth one. There better be a Yogmoth one. What is your mood these days, me? Rumble or birthing? So I've been a big fan of birthing, but I think right now, I think I'm being converted to Rumble. Honestly. I think Rumble feels very nice. Roll of Kazedum in the graveyard. Grist is in the set, not white border though. Yeah, they just they put Grist in, but they didn't do anything special to her. I kind of I'm kind of sad. I wish they did. I wish they made a white border Grist. I would run those. Bro, dude, imagine future. There's, I don't know that that wouldn't work. They can't make future sight Grist because it's a planeswalker. But imagine, imagine they did like a future sight planeswalker. Ooh, that would look hot. Counter spell be gone. What is this? Assassin's Creed? Okay. They could in just a wall of text like Retro Secret Lair. Yeah. Louisiana. What's Louisiana? What, this looks like Louisiana? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Meet Ben! Hello, Ben. Hope you cried over there with a handful of Kairos spells. Yes, sir. I could have saved that with Cauldron. I got distracted by Ben. It's canonically Louisiana. Oh, I didn't know that. Bowmasters be gone. What's up? Hey, hello, Ben. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing so good. Hello. Hello, swear holes. Grist is a creature anyway. Perfect planeswalker for future site bar border. True. Black. 
This is Thoughtsies? A Thoughtsies, perhaps? Psycho Frog. Shh. I'm going to take the troll. Doing this before uh, it hits the field so I can put a counter on my Bowman. Why can't walkers be future sighted? I mean, I guess they could. It's they, they just they didn't have future they didn't have planeswalkers around, and they've never done a planeswalker before in a future sight border. So I don't know. Asmo, hey yo, Asmo ran about a body beat about a bit. Is cauldron necessary with rumble, or can I just play nightmare? Um, cauldron is very good. I don't know. Is Cauldron necessary with Rumble? Cauldron, it's just Rumble is so good with Cauldron. So I think I'm more scared of... I think I'm more scared of... Ooh. I could just Ultimate Grist here and then put it under the Cauldron. I think I'm not going to do that. I think I want to get the Asmo out of the way. Why this list don't play Cthonia Nightmare? Uh, it's, this list is be way better with Cauldron. <clears throat> they made Planeswalkers and Retro Borders. So anything is possible. True. Asmo Jump Scare. Oh! I could sacrifice two foods to have a creature deal six damage to itself. Well, I'm cycling again, sure. See, we should have played the one gives true. Zay, you realize that you're almost 2k YouTube subs? Have you thought about... We go to group... <laughs> what? Hey, yo. No, thank you. I have to have a mil... <laughs> Uh-oh, Cauldron Beaver. Uh, so I'm going to take the Asmo. They can exile it with the frog, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, they're gonna kill my grist. Oh no. This is the worst. Oh my god, I misplayed so bad there. Ah, uh, cock. Ah, shit. To kill Gris, eat my Gris, yep. I did, yeah, there's no reason for me to pull the trigger on that. God damn it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Yep. It's okay. I'm going to draw Yog Moth right now.
He can't keep getting away. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just need to draw Hapatra. So I don't think is I don't think there's any way I'm killing the frog. So I think I'm gonna go for the creatures. Second cauldron. Mm. Land. Hmm. How can we cast a Patra? So I can't now, but I could have before if I um if I exiled my halfling. So now I can exile my wall of roots. Put a counter on Yogmoth. Play that bay wire might. And then exile the cauldron. Okay. Maybe saved. Maybe saved. That's crazy. No, I knew it was there. So I simply knew it was there. Which flavor are you going to play for Yogg RCQs? I don't know. I think I'm going to switch it up in between. I prob I'm probably going to try this list next time. Because I, I tried Rumble the first time. He simply knew it was there, folks. He simply knew it. Off the tizzy. So their hand is too... Their hand is two Hobbit Hebridus, uh, and then three mystery cards. Frog with Oval Chase is super cool. Yeah, it's actually, I really like it a lot. Yep. Yep. They're going to do a whole bunch of damage. A whole boatload of damage. We should still be fine. Sack Bobble, Michael Bobble. Is it a good one, opponent? The third, the third troll of Kaze Dooms at the third one. Yeah. Counter, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So their hand is land mystery card. Thanks to Agatha's Ears Creature, I swipe cyclically one true. Flying. That's fine. Big frog. Blue, black. The second frog, sure. Discard, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is really sick. I like this a lot, actually. It's getting froggy. All right. We need something good, deck. Come on. 
So turn off auto yield is going to target them. Target them. Done. Sacrifice here. And then we can draw a card off the other one. Okay. Third, the third cauldron is not what I need here, but thank you. Oh, but I will take the youngest wolf. Yes, sir. Target here, sacrifice here. We are actually getting a little low on health, so we do need to find an answer and fast. And there it is. And there it is. So... That's a lot of land. Uh, that's a lot of land, Deck. That is a lot of land. Let me go get Dryad. Zula still good. Zula still got it, baby. Deck, please. Thank you. Holy shit. That was way too close. Ooh. God damn. Upon had a lot of land too, yeah. But, I mean, they had a lethal frog sitting right in front of us, so it was getting a little bit too close for comfort. So I'm just going to bring in the Decay's Fatal Push. And... Do I want to bring in the Veil? I think I want to just bring in these. Take out one core to take out probably two Grist in this matchup. Take out a wall, take out a... Young Wolf and one Bowman. Hmm. So this hand is awkward because we the shifting bullets come in tapped. We gotta throw it back. Okay, this is better. Mihook is your energy tech, or you want a card that had your name on it? No, it's energy. It's tech for energy. It's actually been really good. I'm going to keep this. Um, I think I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put back Walking Ballista. Okay.
keep that on top. Uh, trigger on the stack, I'm going to go here. What? These two, I'm going to pitch the cord. Meat hook. Yes, sir. They could still have a Asmo. Oh, no asthma, really? That's surprising. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Basim! Basim Ibn Ashir! That card's so cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why are you stabbing the note? Oh. oh my god. You guys are going crazy style. Calm down with the gnomes. Calma. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they did have an asthma. Well, they must have just drawn that, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Calm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. So I can go... I think I'm gonna go Young Wolf down to... <laughs> Ooh. Get gnomed. Oh! We're going to sack here, and we're going to stack it so the young wolf doesn't come back until the Asmo's off the field. And that's fine. And then Young Wolf returns. Young Wolf re will return. And we play the Affling. I'm going to hold on to the Beseju in my hand. And now we get the Grist. Now I get to play the Grist. Please. Thank you. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. What you got, opponent? Another saga, sure. Saga into another cookbook, sure. Sure. I cannot block it.
Make a food token, sure. Damn. Classic wolves, they drink from a cauldron, they get insect hive mind. True. That's how it works. Oh my god, they had a, another ass. They drew another one? A puppet, please! Ugh. I mean, that's a good draw. Hmm. So I could just go for... I think I'm just going to activate the Rub Decay right now. Mm, yep. So, we have a lot of options here. I could either get my Haywire Mite. I could get my Haywire Mite onto my Insect Token, Exile the Saga. Yeah, but I could also just use Beseju. But maybe it's better for me to just hit it with the, with the Mite. Yeah, let's let's do the mite. And then we can go sack here using this mana. So they they have one mystery card and oh no they have two mystery cards they have two mystery cards and they have a hobbit hibido okay apoda your turn bobble's pretty good They're making a whole boatload of artifacts. Ain't no way they drew the third Asmo, right? There ain't no way. I'm just waiting for it. Don't do it to me about it. Please. Please don't do it. Please. Land. You can't let me untap your opponent. Oh, you're really going to let me untap. Oh, wait. No, that's fine. Wall of Brutes. So, interesting. 
So they have the cookbook is active. Like they can sacrifice it to return a card from the graveyard to their to the hand. They're gonna get one of the Asmos back next turn, most likely. So I think I'm actually just gonna go like I'm gonna go Wall of Brutes and then I'm just gonna go um insect token beat down. Just gonna leave Cauldron up. No surveil lands? That's weird. Hmm. That's fine. I left for five minutes. Why is there it's like already that are also grists? <laughs> this is magic, baby. So this is fine. We'll just take four. Really? Okay, well, in response, I'm going to Oseju your cauldron. They're taking my wall of roots. That's fine. The meat bed, G Bella. Hello, hello. Oh. What are you talking about, Toxic Deluge? What? You're playing Toxic Deluge? In your Asmo deck. I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, and I can't even cord. So first of experience, a bunch of players take text specifically for y'all just to troll me. True, actually. And they drew it. Okay, I'm not going to concede. Play it out. But it just feels really silly. What version would you play in a CCG? Probably Rumble. Oh! Dried Arbor Pog. All 
Oh, they're gonna activate their cookbook. Oh, just kidding. Okay, if they don't have another historic spell, then maybe we can, maybe we make a comeback. Rumble, legacy deck, play ritual. Rumble equals legacy deck, ritual equals pioneer deck. What do you mean? Ain't no way they have a historic spell here. It's impossible. Okay. Good evening, me. I hope the day's getting better. It is. It's going good. Hey. It's going better. <laughs> now we're playing against some uh, very strange, very cool deck. I'm actually going to take... Okay, never mind. I was going to take out Walking Ballista. This hand has a lot of mana. And we can Mortuary. I'm going to actually throw it back, though. This is better. I do like the double Fatal Push. We're going to keep... Oh, now what do we put back? Put back the Force, maybe? I think I want to put back the Force. Just kidding. I consider Rumble way better than Ritual version. Just gonna play this best turn. They do not like their top card. I've considered Toxic to Lamp Super Greed, but they give a lot of good draws to more land. Yeah, I was also considering that, but I was just worried about getting stuck on two lands. Okay, so they knew that we drew that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play that right now, though, just to establish Cauldron Dominance. That's fine. It's called Dominance Signature. <laughs> Yog Signature. Hey, yo. <laughs> gonna take the Michael Bubble here. Court is an excellent draw. A little awkward with the mana here. Uh, but I'm just gonna go Wall of Roots. And then counter here, and then do this, and then fatal bush. Hello, y'all. Hello, crazy boy. Crazy style. Has shifting woodlands ability been used at all? Oh, sparrow. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. It's been so good. Aetherplasm. Hello, hello. Any new tech tonight? Vinay. Hello, Vinay. What is this thing? We never saw this card. Give me that, Asmo. I'm hungry. Of course you have an Oval Chase Daredevil, because why wouldn't you? What'd you say? I'm utterly scared. I'm utterly scared. So I could go... 
Shadow of Luck. Uh, I could just go Fatal Push here. Otter Ability? Oh, Otter Ability! Ow. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to discard the Decay here, play the Catacombs. What is Otter Ball and how does one play asking for a friend? I, I, would, I wouldn't know. I don't know. Wait, can we copy Cord with another counter? Holy shit! No. No, because it costs two mana. It costs two mana to do that. Oh, I got, I got excited. I mean, we could, but it'd be like... We need, we, we need to, like, have Cord for four... I mean, I guess we could do, like, a small Cord. Um... New here, love the stash, gives me Rhode Island State, Trooper vibe. Yeah, 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 sir. Hello. Hi, Gazira33. Hello, hello. So I can either put this on top or I can put it in the graveyard. If I put it in the graveyard. <gasps> Wait. I gotta do the calculations. So if we put it in the graveyard, we put it on the on the wall, and then we cord for one, two, three. No, we can't cord. I don't think it's too much mana. Because yeah, we do have to, we have to tap the wall. I'm still putting that in the graveyard. Can I cord for wolf twice? Do I have enough mana? I th okay, now I have enough mana. Oh, ba oh man, oh this is gonna go crazy style. Hey everyone, I want everyone to witness the crazy style that's about to happen. So, we get the forest, we get the yogmoth, we put the yogmoth on the wall of roots. Okay. Okay, and then we float the mana here, and then we go, what is it? Okay, and then we go, we can't use the three and four. We cord for one, turn off auto yields, cord for one. No. Why didn't it work? Oh my, I turned off all the... Damn it. Did I need to hold down control? Is that what I did wrong? God damn it. I needed full control? Ah oh, man, I messed it up. It was gonna be so cool. No. We were <laughs> We were here when you messed it up. Unfollow now, <laughs> please. You guys didn't tell me I needed full control. It's your fault. It's not my fault. Okay. Prolif well, no, I'm not going to proliferate because uh, they could just get the Daredevil back by discarding a card. We could still loot. True. Pithy Needle. Oh. <laughs> what would you like to name here, opponent? Yes, what would you like to name? Would you like to name it Yogma? Ah, oh, come on. I will take the three. Oh, now we can double rumble though. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. I got it. I got it this time. Okay, so we float the mana. Rumble holding control, and then we do this. Hey, yes, sir.
Haywire might. Another young wolf. Target here, sacrifice here. Okay, so this is, we also, oh no, we, we, we did see Bowmaster, we did see Bowmaster. It's going at me? Rumble equals impulse plus treasure token, true. Sure. Um, I mean, I feel like we're in a really good spot right now. I've not drawn a land yet. Target here, sacrifice here. We could still draw into Zulaport, I guess. And there it is. Play this. Zupalort. Yes, sir. Target here, sacrifice here. Hey, okay. Double rumble. Double rumble. All right. Giving her five here. Now we're going to be on draw. It's okay. On the play, I really like this hand. I think I'm still going to try it. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, well. Now I don't like this hand. If you haven't made a mistake, you're not trying hard enough. True. Opponent is thinking with the second one. Okay. Okay. Second Yawgmoth is not really what I wanted here. I will keep a land on top. Okay. Well, they're going to have four mana on turn two. Playing Legacy now, apparently. Okay, well. <laughs> it's pretty good. Wall of Roots, go! Save me! <laughs> mm hmm Are we playing the same format? Apparently. So I think if I want to have a chance at winning here, I think I need to go wall into Hapatra. And then if I untap and play Yogg, then maybe we have a chance, but it's going to be a very slim chance with them playing a ring on turn two and the Kozlux command on turn three and them having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana on turn four. Oh, seven, eight, nine, sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. My bad. Oh, CPBO2138. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate you. Uh, 
Oh. Oh. That's actually not that bad. I was going to concede to an all is dust. Hmm. Let's do a rumble first. Oh! Lucas MT MTG top eight. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Oh! So I could go for I could go for Young Wolf or I could go Wall of Roots and then I could play I mean I think I'm just playing Brist this turn. I think I just get Young Wolf here. Or actually I think I just play Young Wolf and then hope. If we are allowed to untap, which I don't think we're going to be allowed to untap, but if we are allowed to untap, then maybe we have a chance. You have another Coslex command opponent. Hey, Yogwath, if if Yogwath were one mana, do you think it's going to be good? Ooh, baby, baby. Wow, they did. Okay, they exiled Young Wolf. That's not Hapatra. Top on a field, this is built on that step. In my opinion, it's called the Command's Strongest Interaction Spell Modern. Yep, I would agree. The card's kind of bullshit. You know what? I think we need get up. We, we need Teague. We need to bring Teague in the sideboard, dude. Sorry, Zip, my coworker asked me to hit you with it. It's okay. I don't blame you. Bro, bring out my boy Teague. Non-creature spells with convert mana cost four or greater can't be cast. Non-creature spells with X in their mana cost can't be cast. That just shuts down Tron. They printed a future site, Yogmoth. I'm not clicking that link. Nice try, though. What do you mean, why am I not clicking? <laughs> we... No, I think keeping cord in is still fine because you can cord for Teague. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, Vinny. Haha, -ha, very funny. Okay. Bring in Sphere, Sphere, Force, Thought Seizes. I sub now, I have to click. Okay, I have to click now. God damn. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a jump scare. <laughs> Rick Astley jump scare. It's not. They're trolling. <laughs> they're trolling Aqua. I have... Oh! Password gone. Take out one of those. Take out two walls? I'm going to be on the play. I kind of like this hand... Keep. We have a cauldron if we find a fulminator mage. We have a haywire might to interact with any shenanigans they have. Just gonna play this tapped past turn. According to the 0 0.1 second audio must be Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Biggie Rick. Oh.
opponent is thinking. Opponent is in the tank. They don't know what to take for their top card. Okay, fine. Cockbook. Hmm. Wall of Roots is good. I think I'm still going to go with the Rumble here. Hmm. Let's take the Bowmasters. Nice, Rick Ashley picked me up. Thanks, folks. Hell yeah. I hate draws like this, but you're spent on action hoping for a great top deck. Yeah. It happens. Would you like to play the one ring opponent? I think that'd be very epic if you did. Next update, Invasion of Akoria instead of Cord to get with Rumble. Oh! <laughs> no, Cord's always going to be the best one. Oh, I guess I should have done this at their upkeep. Okay, never mind. Not punished. Top deck like this? Like this? <laughs> yes, sir. So I'm going to do this now. Oops. Going to tap correctly. So that we, I think we have Yog for, I think we have Court for Yog. Uh, yeah, we do. One, two, three, four. All is dust. So. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can't. I mean, I can get Yogg, but hitting needle. So, float my convoke mana. Yeah. So, I think it's probably better here to get Young Wolf. Or maybe I don't even use it. Maybe I just chill. I probably just chill. Hmm. It's really interesting. One, two, three, four, five. I court for two. No. Uh, I think this is fine.
Oh, I could have put him in the cauldron. Yes, yes, that's true. Mm, not that. Oh, four minutes. Yes, yes, that 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 should have been the play. Me, you have been rumbling in the struggle for three and a half hours. <laughs> it's been quite a long time. Um, okay, can I still get? What are my conclusions? I think I think rumble is great. So hold on, play this, play halfling, and if I get wall of roots, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get a fulminator mage here. The issue is we don't have like any fuel. Yeah, I should have gotten fulminator mage with the cord. I just totally blanked on it. I should have gotten... Mm, I got him making misplays. Should have gotten wall roots under the cauldron there. Mm. Actually, I mean, we're very close to the Ballista kill. Ballista's still in, right? I just need an Undying creature. That's not an Undying creature, but that is a Fulminator Mage. I'm not going to blow up the labyrinth. I am going to blow up the labyrinth. They can put the card back in their hand, but still generates the most mana. Stirrings, pretty good. Saga's pretty good. Halfling. Hmm. Man, we're so close to... We're so close. I think I'm going to not blow up anything here. I think I'm just going to chill. Bowmaster Double Destroy. I'm also thinking about that, but we're also... We're really close to the... To the uh, walking ballista kill, like all we need, all we need is a undying creature. Ooh, wait, hold on. But now they can play the devourer. One, two. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. I mean that's fine still. Oh no, they exiled the devourer. Okay. So it's like I could go for Bowmasters here, but if we draw like a Young Wolf, it's just like, oh, it's game over. Young Wolf. Not second cauldron, man. Mm. I still have Grist, right? I could get Grist. I could just cord for Grist and then just start blowing up their lands.
To generate bodies, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. So I do have to go after the saga here because I can't let them get a cookbook. So, but they're just gonna have a one one. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So their hand is a devourer, a mystery card. Whenever they just drew. Hey. Okay. Nice. Oh, I was cutting it a little too close there. Okay, I think I'm actually going to throw in another Grist. And then we can take out, like... I think we'd, we take out a Soul Cauldron. Ooh. Oh! Come on. Ready up. I know you don't have a sideboard. I know you don't have one. Oh, wait. I guess they're not playing... They're just playing Etron, so I guess they don't have Karn. Maybe they do. I don't think they do. All right. We're going to be on the draw. It's a hard part. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. They're mulling to five, Pog. Not gonna lie, after the stream, you converted me to the Rumble with you. Cauldron Ballistas, I'm coming home. <laughs> We're and Grist, and capital G Grist. We're coming home. Ugin's Labyrinth jump scare. Emrakul jump scare. Do you have a cyborg guy for this lying around for this version? So I need all the help I can get. I do not, but I am going to be making one. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Opponent floated the mana and then <laughs> they passed. We take those. Why not draw a card? I think they accidentally passed priority uh, when they didn't mean to. One, two, three, four. Um, if I put that on top, I play it next turn, then I have a chord one. I actually don't want that. They return the Emrakul to their hand. They can't cast it, though.
just gonna hold up cord here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they still can't do it. I think I do need to respect it, though. So we are going to cord for one here, get a wire mighty. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, so we're just going to play capital Yog Moth. Yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. Oh, nice little four one there. Hell yeah. Very cool. Only losing to what was it? Was it Boros Energy? We lost to Boros Energy with their nutty top decks. Clap, 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 clap. Why not also a cauldron there? Because I could not because of Damping Sphere. Damping Sphere made a cauldron cost three mana, not two mana. Me, am I RCQing it? Of course. Of course I am. Yes, sir. The Boros is quite the deck. Easy clap. Easy clap. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we, we were in a situation where both of us were top decking, and my opponent just ended up getting the better draws than I did. Uh, but it's okay. It happens. Yeah, I mean, this list feels pretty solid. You know what? I think I'm going to roll with it. So, for those of you who don't know, I am this weekend, there's going to be a No Nadu 1K happening on Saturday. It's a streamer event. I was I was invited to it. I'm going to be a part of it. Uh, I'm going to be streaming it Saturday, 9 a.m. And I think I think we're going to do some Rumble in the Jungle, baby. I'm going to be the only Yogmoth player, I swear. I promise. Most likely. But I'm going to represent. I'm going to take it down for you guys. That's going to be a fun time. You got this, baby? Hey, thank you, thank you. All righty, but unfortunately, I do got to get going for now. I got to, you know, do adult things, eat food, stuff like that. But I want to thank everyone for coming by the stream today. Thanks for all the likes, comments, subs, follows. I appreciate you guys. Congrats, Miss Reed. This is super entertaining to watch. I am ready. I'm now on Team Rodin. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble! We need a Yogmoth flag. What would that look like? Thank you, Mr. Street. Th uh, thank you, Bradley. Thank you, Aqua. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Sparrow. So I hope all of you have a nice rest of your night, evening, morning, wherever you are, and I will see you. Next time I see you. Alrighty. Ow.